Well, welcome back. It's a season of awards. Uh, of course, uh, each year, each year, right from the well, in the first quarter, you have two major awards uh, shows happening. That is three music awards and, of course, the VGMA as well. Well, let's focus more on the VGMA this morning. So now, although Charterhouse has closed entries for the 21st edition of the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards, upcoming musicians can submit their entries for um, the unsung category. Now, the, the, the acts have until Sunday, 23rd of February to be nominated. The nomination entry is open for works released between January 1st, 2019 and December 31st, 2019. And also, the nominees will be announced at a party at the end of this month, that's February 28th, um, after the board thoroughly analyzes the entries. Now, make sure you nominate your favorite upcoming artist by tagging a video or a picture with hashtag VJMA21 Unsung on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. MFR, do you have any underground artists that you have in mind? Do you want to put through on this uh, one? Well, as of this particular time, mm -hmm. I don't know if they want to be called underground. I'm not sure. Let me go and come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I'm coming for a start. Uh, the likes of Les Doe, um, you know, uh, quite a number of artists I know out there who are doing it crazy as well. Selassie songs and all. Just take this opportunity and put your music out there in the unsung category. And the next thing you know, you just might be all over the place. Yes. Let's move on to the next story now. Let's jump into the world of movies. So, veteran actor Kofi Ajololo has fumed at, at uh, movie producers for failing to pay him after shooting several movies. I'm about to show you a video and this will just blow your mind away. Now, infuriated Kofi Ajololo speaking in an interview on Joy News asked producers to pay him the money owed him. Now, he revealed that about seven producers owe him after failing to pay him for shooting movies with them. I quote, he says, some of the producers in Ghana, they should respect themselves. Old man like me, that's old man like me, uh, they call me to come and work and they can't pay me. Well, about seven producers in this country owe me money. So I have a video for you. Check it out for yourself. I'm sitting at home and I'm, I'm hungry. And when I'm sick too, they don't, when I'm sick, nobody, look, we have elder, elderly people sick, lying there, and producers owe them. They don't even give them money. Why? I'm being real here. How many, you said seven producers haven't paid you. They you want me to name them? Oh, yeah. All the big producers in Ghana, some of them, they owe me 2,000, 3,000, 1,000. My, my actors, out the whole Ghana here, the actors, they know what I'm talking about. Producers don't pay. They, they, the producers owe actors. Younger, you ask for the young actors, they don't even pay them. Because of the passion they have for acting, they come and do the work, they don't pay them. I am saying this, me, Kofi Adjol, I'm saying this. It's, it's I'm so angry here. Could that be the reason why the, the industry is not that vibrant? I don't know. I can't tell if it's because of that. But if the industry is so vibrant, then I think the stakeholders have to sit down and think. And these same producers are the stakeholders, and they keep talking, talking, talking. Meantime, the artists who are making, who are the ones acting, they don't pay them. Why do you keep on acting? I am angry. Eh? Why do you keep on acting? Why shouldn't you act? Me, I left this job you are doing. You know how many years I did your job? I know, exactly. And I left it because I, no, because I left this your job with camera in front of me. How many years? Over 17 years I was doing this your job, but I left because I, I needed to do acting. I came into acting too, nothing is happening to me. No money. How many years have you acted? How many producers have you acted? Me, Kofi Adol, they on the internet say I'm worth $800,000. Me. Me. 800 what? Are you more than? More. Oh, you're not even there. The thing I'm, I'm talking about, if I was more than 800, you, you, you ask me. Ask me better questions, Mr. Interview. Inter well, yes, uh, on, the, on the much lighter side, yes, there's a little humor in there. Uh, but on the much serious side as well, it's a, a critical issue that we have to really take a look at, especially those of us in the creative industry. What is a stake for us after many years of serving the industry? It's a big question for the gods, like I mean, say. every day we wake up to saying that, oh, mm -hmm. you know, we have to collect some money, so we have to do some sort of contribution to go yes. and help some actor who is not well, you know, is pensioned and doesn't have money. I really don't know what we can do. Mm -hmm. I don't know who is who is in charge. What what are the measures really? Yeah. That, that's my father really. I love him and for him when he's feeling imagine. like this, you've got to give him space. Exactly. Yeah. After 17 years of being in the movie industry probably and uh, you can co compare him to the likes of, you know, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence and Wesley Snipes. They've all been in the in the movie industry in various countries for all these years. But the big question is which one is making more money at the end of the day? And uh, it's a critical situation. 
situation that we are in in our country, and I think that we must petition the president as well. I think he does extremely well. Listen, when you yes. bring a script to Kofi Azalele, he mm -hmm. takes his time to even correct the English language, mm. reword it. And yeah. that's somebody's job yeah. before he gets in front of a camera and he's there. He doesn't say that he's old, so he wants yeah. to come at a special time. He comes exactly when the producers, well, I think he's doing well, and he shouldn't be treated like that. He should be prioritized. Really. I know, yeah. exactly. But anyway, on the much lighter side, yes, a little humor in there. I couldn't tell whether he was... It was an act. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it wasn't acting. <laughs> that was real serious business. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. So last night, I also caught this video and MFR. This video is just fantastic. I love the music, to be very honest. So I just jumped back onto his Twitter page, and I wrote three dopes. Dope one, dope two, dope three. So Lord Paper has teamed up with Atajwa hitmaker uh, Bosom P. Young now to present to us a classic high life tune. It's titled Asabone, now a word from tree language which means bad dance. Now, it's a typical Boga High Life melody. Asabone was produced by Gomez Beats and uh, it's set to be released for public consumption. But hey, check out the video right now on your screens. I love the music. <laughs> Well, the story behind Lord Paper is just one that is, uh, is just crazy. From his first video, which sparked a lot of conversations on social media because of the nudity in there. And then he later came back, apologized, and he's back with this big banger, together with Busun P. Young. Now, this song is just crazy. The only thing is that I think uh, we're picking a little um, of the groove in the beats from something from, I think, Daddy Lumba, right? I, I also say, I feel Kudonji in there. Kudonji in there somewhere. as well. But... What's it's it's a new generation. Anyway. You can't go wrong with yeah, a new generation. It's high life. Bits yeah, it's high life. Beats is there. You've got to pick and what's if there's a wheel, why do you invent yeah. it again? Yeah. Well, so definitely go on YouTube and check out that video. But of course, it's definitely also in our playlist right here on Prime Morning. So you definitely, again, see it more often. So congrats going out to Lord Paper and Busum P. Young. Loving that collaboration. MFA says he's gaining confidence in Busum P. Young as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. I am, really. Because then you'd hear somebody make some good song and then that's it. Yeah. So, and it, it gets a declining stage. Oh, yeah. But this one right here is giving me a lot of energy and I, and I think I'm loving him more. Well, still more focused on more musicians, but this one from Nigeria. So Pato Ranking has partnered uh, with the African Leadership University to launch the ALU Pato Ranking Scholarship. Wow. Well, having overcome financial adversity in his own journey of impact, well, Pato Ranking now wants to help unleash more entrepreneurial leaders who will bring positive change to their countries and the continent. Now, this will also help, uh, well, this scholarship will allow 10 young promising leaders to get a degree from Africa's most innovative university. Now, beneficiaries will be rewarded with a 100% paid tuition fee waiver which covers the cost of tuition fees, accommodation, and other study-related costs for the duration of the undergraduate program at the Rwanda and Mauritius campuses of the ALU, an annual living allowance for duration of the undergraduate program. A short video for you. A leader is someone who demonstrates what's possible. I'm a real product of a ghetto called the Butemeta, and I hope that alone inspires you to know that anything is possible. My name is Pato Rankin. I wasn't fortunate enough to complete my education, but that hasn't stopped me from being great. Just because I couldn't doesn't also mean we can't inspire the next generation of great African leaders. I want to say a very big thank you to uh, Pato Ranking. Great initiative there with your partners as well. And made a lot to you to do with this initiative as well. Let's move on. So, well, g Easy and Megan uh, Stallion, a couple. Whew. Well, you follow them on IG. So check this out. So fans have been left in a state of confusion after the American rapper g Easy posted a video of himself sucking the face of Megan um, as they cozy up in bed together. Wow. Now, the video which was posted on GEZ's Instagram story was recorded in Miami while stars party during the Super Bowl weekend. It's however unclear if the two artists are in a relationship. Well, let the video be the judge of that.
Well, the video has definitely caught MFS attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's mute on that one. But anyways, well, your guess is as good as mine. Let's see how long this relationship lasts. As we all know, these celebrity couples always come up with the next story, and they broke up, and they divorced. Hmm. And this one is walking away with this amount of money, and the sue, and the legal issues. Many, many of them. But let's see how long good. it lasts on this it's one. It's good when you walk away with something, you know. Yes. All right, our last story this morning. So now a Chicago rapper has been sentenced to 99 years in prison after he paid a hitman to actually murder his own mom so he could have access to her bank account and life insurance. Now, uh, Comain, a.k.a. Wilson, young uh, QC, we call him, was found guilty of the murder for hire last year uh, after... And yesterday was sentenced to spend the rest of his life behind bars. Okay, now Yolanda Holmes was shot, then stabbed to death by hitman Eugene Spencer after he was ordered by Wilson to make sure the woman is dead. Okay, now the only uh, child uh, Wilson, the o well, only child Wilson hired a hitman Eugene to kill his mother so he could have access to her account back in 2012. Now the rapper used the money to flaunt his music videos and then would often give thousands of dollars. So his fans may have so rest in perfect peace. And on that note, that's a wrap on this morning's What's Trending. Back to you, Queenstar, to give us some more updates with sports.